Hi, uh, greetings from the town of Tlahuitoltepec in, la, in the Mije uh, territory in Oaxaca, Mexico. Uh, this is a visit, that, one of the visits that I, I will be doing uh, uh, working with, from Altermundi with Redes and many other organizations around the world to support their will uh, of uh, repurposing technology for their own good. Uh, in this case, we are in uh, Tlahuitoltepec because um, many months ago we visited them to give a, a structure to their felt need of having their own TV station. Um, we arrived here at Tlahuitoltepec the last day of, for, of the uh, fifth day the celebration of the Asuncion Virgin. Uh, so Tlahuitoltepec is a, an Ayuk community, uh, an indigenous Ayuk community uh, that uh, has both their own beliefs, like uh, indigenous beliefs, and also uh, their indigenous uh, spirituality, and also uh, the Christian church is here. Also, the community, uh, community main activity is related to agriculture and commerce. Uh, so they have their own milpas, their own small piece of land that they work uh, as families um, uh, and that they use to self-provide and to do commerce with others or uh, exchanges with others. Um, but also this village is very particular because they are uh, they are musicians. M many of the members of this community are musicians. So you can see and you can hear now in the background a lot of music and that, that is because there is a band playing nearby. Um, so from the very early from very early ages, like from two or three years old, the kids start learning musical instruments and being part of music, music bands. Uh, this is a, a characteristic of this village, but not also this, but villages in this region where, uh, like in the celebration some days ago, uh, they come and celebrate for five days all together with different bands playing in different places of the village, uh, where they uh, learn by living together those five days from each other and from sharing these experiences. Um, so, we are up here, as I told you, because of this felt need of having their own TV station. Uh, in order for us to support them in this journey, we asked, we invited a collective from Mexico City that is called COA TV. They are a Zapatist initiative that, is, uh, that works with, uh, in, in creating a TV station with free libre open source software uh, and they came here to give a workshop uh, to, su uh, to support the community in this endeavor. Uh, we have been here for two days. Today is the last day where they will start uh, transmitting their channel through internet. Uh, so they have been learning about production, uh, transmission and edi edition, uh, editing of video using free open source software. Um, and uh, well, I also wanted to share with you uh, some parts of this community. They understand their li lives in a community in, a, um, uh, in an integrated way. So they, they don't live only for themselves, they live for themselves and for their community. That means uh, that uh, they have roles within their community that they, ha they have to uh, play. And these roles, uh, for example, can be governance roles where they have to be there uh, for, a, for a year in a full-time or almost full-time uh, job, like being, the, being in charge of water or of uh, sports or parties or uh, the, the actual ruling of the village. So, uh, and they have to plan this uh, ahead of time in order for them to be able to be uh, in this role without 
being able to uh, work in a way or working very very uh, not, not, not too much so how the internet works here uh, La Huidaltepec has many internet service providers here all of them are wireless ISPs so it means that the internet comes from jumps that go mountain to mountain till getting here and over here it's distributed over wireless internet uh, wireless connections uh, there are many of them here so uh, and they work using uh, mainly using uh, credits or, or tickets or coins as they call them uh, so you go to a grocery store you purchase a coin that can last for an for 30 minutes, an hour, two hours a day, a week or a month, depending on how much you want to invest. And um, then you get your phone, you access the Wi-Fi network of that provider, and you enter the credentials that are given to you once you are uh, you purchase them, when you purchase them, and after they are authentic authenticated, you get access to the internet for the period of time that you ask for. Uh, this is so. This is a very cumbersome approach, but also the, and also the quality of internet is quite low. Uh, there are also a mobile phone providers. There is one mobile phone provider, that is Telcel. Uh, this mobile phone provider provides a very crappy service, like one call out of 10 goes out and no data, no mobile data is available here. So it's a... Uh, it's tricky and also it's uh, difficult for the community members because the, no, not all of them have access to the internet. Uh, it's an exclusive resource, not an inclusive resource. Uh, but one interesting thing is that all of these providers are here in this territory and all are open Wi-Fi networks. So there is an opportunity that we are envisioning that, to interconnect them in a common network where they can share local services with each other or even local transit without having services like peer-to-peer -peer transit. We are discussing about this with the local community and uh, one of the advantages of doing this is that they could stream both voice and video like the, their own community network radio that you can see over there that's the radio, uh, uh, like there, that's the tower, there, uh, and the local TV station um, without uh, having to pay for any internet. They can use the infrastructure that is already provided. Uh, that will be a huge gain in, in, their, per, in their pursuit of uh, cultivating their own culture. Um, so there is an opportunity there also that I see in relation to the peer-to-peer -peer web uh, because so the, their need is both one of them is related to having their own TV station but also they want to connect with their peers that are far away. Uh, they want to connect with the peers that are here too and with the local community, the nearby communities. So all these things are happening in a local way. Uh, they, they end up going to the internet because there is no other way to get to them without going through the internet. But if infrastructure could be deployed in this region, more communications could happen locally. The other thing that needs to be regionalized is not only infrastructure but services. So uh, if they have their own infrastructure but they end up using centralized services, uh, globalized services like WhatsApp or Facebook or such, that will mean that even they have a very high bandwidth locally, they will end up using connectivity that is far away uh, and that costs a lot of money for them. So developing local services will mean for them that they will be able to interconnect with each other without having to get to the internet. Uh, one example of this that we could explore in relation to the TV station that they are trying to push is using what the people from Toronto Mesh has done and many of you have been, have been able to see at the DB Web Summit uh, the peer-to-peer -peer streaming using IPFS and Scuttlebutt to announce. So this technology, uh, what it does is it creates uh, a video stream that in small chunks of video and the chunks of video are shared among, uh, uh, through the IPFS network 
and uh, you can uh, and announce on the Scuttlebutt uh, social network. So uh, once you see the, the link for that video or even the embedded video there, you can click on it and see it uh, uh, in, real, in close to real time. Um, so these technologies, if we mature, mature them, they can be integrated with what Koa TV in this case is teaching to the community for them to be able to stream their video both locally and globally and also through pinning, archiving what they are streaming uh, in, in the network and encouraging the community to pin whatever they want to pin to save the culture that they want to save. Uh, so that's it from here. Uh, please send me your questions, I will do my best to reply to them. Um, and uh, see you soon in the next video. Bye.